Hi everyone, I'm Rochelle, and I have two little girls, Anna, who is three years old, and Chaley, who is 21 months. And if you're joining me for the first time, welcome to my channel, where I make videos on integrating the Montessori method with our Catholic faith at home. The church has set aside the entire month of May to honor Mary. Not just one day, but an entire month. This custom has been in the church for centuries, and there are many devotions and traditions that a family can partake in to celebrate and honor the Blessed Mother. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you three Montessori-inspired Marian traditions that you can do with your family to celebrate the month of Mary. The first activity is a May crowning. A May crowning is a devotion where we place a crown of flowers on a statue of Mary. There are many ways that you can go about celebrating this. You can make it as fancy or as casual as you would like. You can do it with your homeschool group, your church group, or even just with your family at home. There is no one specific way to celebrate. All you really need is a statue of Mary and some flowers. This year, our crowning was very casual and took place right at home. Besides preparing a crown for Mary, it took me very little time to prepare for this activity and the girls loved it. But don't let making a crown stop you from doing this activity. You can also just go to the grocery store, buy a bouquet of flowers, or even pick some in your own backyard to give to Mary. It doesn't have to be a crown, that is just the tradition. As part of our procession, I went ahead and included a very common Montessori activity called walking the line which is as simple as it sounds. You simply place a line of tape on the ground and allow the child to practice their balance and coordination as they walk carefully on the line. In Montessori classrooms, the line is often shaped like an ellipse and is sometimes used to transition to a new activity. So I thought it would be a good idea to begin our procession with walking the line. Not only did the activity help to focus their attention and therefore set the tone for the crowning, but it also gave my girls a line to follow independently without me needing to direct them to the statue. Since this was a procession, I also had each of them hold something in their hands as they walked. Anna held a handmade flower crown, which I made with gold wire and faux flowers, and Chaley held a battery-operated candle to place at the feet of Mary. If you have more kids, you could also have them carry real flowers to place at Mary's feet or in some vases surrounding the statue. As the girls began the procession, we sang Immaculate Mary, but any simple Marian hymn would do. Once the girls arrived at the statue, they kissed her and we prayed a Hail Mary together. Their sweet and gentle reverence for Mary was really beautiful and inspiring for me to see. Later that evening, we prayed the rosary together as a family and discussed why we honor the Blessed Mother. Another way to honor the Blessed Mother is to make a Mary garden, where you simply plant flowers around an outdoor statue of Mary. It can be in a special spot in your own backyard or perhaps in a pot that you may already have at home. We often see our Blessed Mother depicted in sacred art with flowers, which symbolize the different virtues of Mary. For example, lilies represent her purity, and red roses represent her sorrows. For our garden, we chose to use marigolds, which represent her heavenly glory, and carnations, which represent her undying love for the Lord. Gardening with kids is an excellent practical life activity that encourages responsibility and care for their environment as they tend to their special plant. It's also a wonderful way to get kids outside and gives them a natural sensory experience as they feel the dirt on their hands and touch the leaves with their fingers. We chose to plant our garden in a terracotta plant that we already had in our backyard and used a small Mary statue that the girls could easily place in the pot independently. We also used our child-sized gardening tools, which I will make sure to link below. From start to finish, the girls happily helped me dump the dirt into the pot, plant the flowers, water the flowers, and place the statue in our planter. 
Once we completed the project, we prayed a Hail Mary in front of the garden and discussed the symbolism of the flowers that we just planted. My girls are often looking out the window, checking on their Mary garden, and they take pride in watering the flowers that they planted themselves. The third activity I have for you today is Marian Tea Time. Since Saturdays are devoted to the Blessed Virgin Mary, we decided to honor Mary each Saturday during the month of May with our own Marian Tea Time. My inspiration for this activity came from Katie Warner's Ultimate Guide to Tea Time article, which I made sure to link in the description box below. To begin our special tea time, the girls helped to set the kitchen table with cloth napkins, a candle, a small vase with spring flowers, their porcelain tea set, and a peg doll of Mary. We started tea time with a simple prayer as we lit the candle and opened up our Bible to one of our favorite stories about Mary, the Annunciation. We then served our tea and fun Marian-themed snacks, including Immaculate Heart strawberries, Morning Star cheese slices, and Mystical Rose cucumbers. You can even include muffins or cookies and make it really fun if you so choose. The blog Catholic Cuisine has a ton of Marian-themed snack ideas if you need more inspiration. As the girls were eating their snacks, Daddy told them more about the Annunciation story and read Our Lady's Picture Book, which is one of our favorite books about Mama Mary. I hope some of these activities will inspire you to honor the Blessed Mother during the month of May. Make sure to check out the description box below with some of the blogs that I've mentioned, as well as some of the materials that I used in today's video. Also, definitely make sure to comment down below with some of your family's favorite Marian traditions. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss a new video, which I post every other week. Thank you again for coming to my channel where I make videos on integrating the Montessori method with our Catholic faith at home. I'll see you again next time. God bless.